Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Beebs Kelly. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope that you are having a happy day today. We are counting down the top 10 vintage red carpet looks inspired by the 1920s. And we have Emma Roberts here coming in at number 10 with this Armani Privé dress. Absolutely beautiful. The skirt is amazing. It is so stunning. Look at it. It's detail. I love the transition of the pattern as well as the layering here. It's just gorgeous. And the hair and makeup and earrings are are perfect for this look. However, the triangle bra top wasn't very flattering despite what is very likely beautiful in person beading and detailing on the triangle bra area here, but it's just a little bit mismatched with that bulky waistband and the narrowness of it overall. It sort of created a disjointed look to the dress, but overall she looked beautiful in this. Next up at number nine is Nicole Kidman. Again, Armani Privé. Unfortunate seal clapping moment happened in this dress. She was wearing a vintage watch and diamonds and they were to blame for the awkward clapping, allegedly. But nonetheless, she was a good sport about it and that's really all that matters. That tells you she's got good character. But the dress was beautiful and overall the styling was wonderful. The pattern of this dress is just gorgeous with its embroidery and beading. It's very reminiscent of the 1920s vintage without being costumey at all, especially with its silhouette here. The 1920s looks sometimes went wrong here with Katy Perry taking an extremely costumey approach was just a little bit cartoonish in its styling and the detailing around the bust just wasn't quite as flattering on her. However, the satiny dress looks beautiful. Its texture just looks a buttery and luscious. Drop waist is a big feature of 1920s looks and funnily enough that would actually be a great silhouette for Meghan Markle to try. The drop waist dresses and looks could be very balancing for her overall silhouette. It's a little bit polarizing today, these sort of heavy rectangular silhouettes and straight lines. Even drop waists, they're not for everybody. They don't look flattering on every body type. They can be really hard to wear due to the fact that they often just completely hide the waistline altogether and can make you appear wider than you are. We've really gravitated away from them, especially when it comes to dresses. These were kind of the early start of more revealing looks on ladies with deeper cuts, more back exposure, higher slits. The sparkly and fringe sort of flapper styles do translate pretty well today, especially with sparkly beaded fringe. So those vintage looks really work well today, which you will see today as we get closer to number one. But as you can see here with Misha Barton, sometimes the costumey look of it or the bulky look of it just sort of drowns out the silhouette and isn't as flattering. Let's take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which transports you right into the 1920s for an intriguing and fun detective game called June's Journey. This murder mystery mobile game is the perfect choice when it's time to unwind and is free to download on mobile devices. Personally, I love mysteries and puzzles, so if you like this sort of a genre, you'll really enjoy this game. The glamorous 1920s aesthetic that they have here creates this relaxing and visually appealing gameplay that makes it even more fun. The engrossing storyline features a diverse cast of characters with great attention to detail throughout. The main character, June Parker, is on a quest to solve her sister's murder and uncovers long-lost family secrets along the way. In this thrilling detective game, you'll discover hidden objects as each captivating scene progresses. It's also available for desktop through Amazon and Facebook. And one of my favorite parts is that you actually get to customize, fix, and remodel your own mansion and garden island, which I love designing, so this is like perfect for me. So go check it out and give it a try by clicking the link in the description box or scanning the QR code on screen. Thank you again to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Okay, back to the list. Number eight is Chanel Iman in a gorgeous Art Deco halter dress that is so bedazzled, and the pattern is just sending those 20s vibes perfectly. Though it's clearly not as wearable as some options here, but it is just beautifully made. Ranked number seven is Evan Rachel Wood in another Art Deco pattern, plus flapper fringe taking over the skirt here. Notice the very straight and rectangular silhouettes that really carried that decade, and they ought automatically ring vintage when we see something with this style of silhouette, especially with that fringe added in. We have another similar dress here, but the hair just doesn't work good in this one. I'm not sure who exactly this is, but she should have gone for something with a little bit of a finger wave or just a more simple hairstyle here. This was just 
not as flattering. This knee length dress on Kate Moss comes in number six and it sends flapper vibes with its fringe and silhouette but it's totally freshened up with her hairstyle. Much more modern and simple but doesn't take away from the look at all. The fringe on the dress is also not super dense, which is another modernizing take to it. And it's got that sparkle along the neckline as well, just really bringing that theme. Her Fergie here has an unfortunate fringe placement over the lap area that just really screws the whole dress up. Like it would have looked so lovely without the fringe right there. It looks like loincloth territory. I'm not loving it at all. Otherwise this dress would have been really nice. I like the diagonal um, triangular sort of chevron-y pattern that it has and even the fringe on the top half isn't that bad but the fringe down there no good. Naomi Watts takes fifth on the list. She rocks this vintage look so well. Something about her features is very compatible with these sorts of vintage 1920s looks. She's wearing Stella McCartney here and this drop waist is really balanced out nicely with this very high slit. It doesn't steal from her figure quite as much. Also with that very deep v-neck, it creates excellent balance as compared to some of the 1920s inspired looks that we have seen. In contrast though, this very pretty blue color is just ending up really frumpy in its design and placement with the sort of drooping drop waist and extra volume there. It's just not very flattering. Though it is a real vintage silhouette, it just doesn't do anything for us now. It looks quite frumpy, unfortunately place in the countdown goes to Lily Collins with this really fresh take that at first you get 1920s but then it instantly feels modern. So it's much less dramatically vintage but it still definitely reads as that with this deep v-neck and the tiny straps and the sparkle are all hallmarks from that decade and the more straight cut around the waistline and hips area. This deep dramatic center cut slit freshens things up instantly while that hairstyle still really anchors it back to the decade. Jennifer Garner takes third for this silver fringed dress. It's got such gorgeous detail throughout the modernized neckline and bodice, but it's still full 20s flapper inspired skirt portion really creates that great balance. I love everything except for the shoes that she chose for this. I do not like those in one bit. They are chunky and out of place. But by having a more fitted waistline like we see here, it makes these vintage styles a lot more wearable and versatile, especially across different body types, while still having that vibe. Just like Mel B here, getting in on the fringed tiered looks, this dress is super cute on her. I really like it and it does have that vintage vibe, but she totally blew the look with these blue shoes. Huh. They're just egregious for this look though. They don't match at all. They're horrible choice. I don't know why she chose these electric teal shoes. There makes no sense. Now, it was a tight race between spot one and two. It is really a toss up. So I'm gonna have to make a poll for you guys on which you think should really have taken number one spot. But we have Emma Stone here at number two in this very, very famous and recognizable dress that she wore to the Oscars for La La Land, which definitely had a vintage vibe. So this old Hollywood glam was really paying homage to the movie here. This dress took 11 people and over 1700 hours to make because each piece of fringe was individually hand beaded. It is a masterpiece. Her styling is absolutely gorgeous and impeccable and this Givenchy dress is gonna go down in the history books. It is absolutely stunning. The movement that these styles give is just unmatched. There is nothing better than seeing this dress in motion. It is so fun and beautiful and different. So it brings such a fresh vibe, especially if it relates to like the event or the occasion in some way. It just is a spectacular option. This is another take on the vibe, but it has more muted fringe and less dense fringe, giving a little bit more of a delicate look and some transparency, which updates it even more. So this one, you know, it didn't hit the top 10 list, but it is a very nice vintage inspired look. Stealing the number one spot is Gal Gadot in this flapper inspired dress that is simply stunning. 
stunning and the styling of it is amazing. This is a great choice for her. She can really carry this style and this aesthetic. Her slender and tall body type really lends itself well to this sort of a silhouette. She is able to have that classic triangle cup and tiny straps with the drop waist and the deep V and it doesn't eat up her figure. She still looks beautiful and balanced, which is not easy to do with these features on the gown. It's sending perfect 20s vintage without looking costumey. It's completely glam. The necklace, the earrings, the makeup, the shoes, every aspect of this is styled to perfection. The attention to detail is something I always appreciate and number one and number two on this list are both just impeccable. It was such a close call between this and Emma Stone's. Which do you prefer? Leave it in the comments and don't miss the poll coming out next. And let me know your favorite look. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed it. Anything that I'm wearing is going to be linked in the products tab or in the description box. And don't forget to check out June's journey by clicking the link in the description box or the QR code on screen. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a happy day ahead and I will see you in the next video. Bye.